my name is Karina, and this is my husband, Jason. Hello. Um, we, it has been requested from Amber. Hi, Amber. <laughs> Hi, Amber. <laughs> um, that she wanted us to do a few things on our marriage. Me and Jason have been married for 20, going on 24 years this mm -hmm. year in April. And um, so she's just curious about some things about our marriage. And it got me and Jay thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? We could do a video about how to keep romance in your relationship. The things that we do. So mm -hmm. grab a drink, get ready to relax, and come join us. Um, I have some things written down so that we can kind of, I wrote um, ideas down. So we're just going to kind of play off of that. So. All right, one thing that me and Jason um, do is we make coffee for each other. Um, like I will, he usually goes to bed pretty early at night during the week, and I will go ahead and I'll make up that coffee pot and set his cup out, make sure that it's clean. And then when he gets up in the morning, all he has to do is pour the water in it. He's got fresh coffee, mm -hmm. puts it in his cup, and then he turns around. And, and makes it, make it for you. So then when I get up... All she's got to do is pour it in the water and wait for a few minutes and she's got fresh coffee. Yep. And the mornings that he knows that I actually don't have a bunch of stuff to do and I actually get to be... My mornings are a little slower. He actually makes me an extra cup or two cups just so that I can sit and enjoy that coffee just a little bit longer in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's the little things, guys. It really, really is. And if you have a spouse or you know, a significant other that you think, oh, they'll never do that. If you start applying yourself, I can guarantee they're going to start doing that. Just start applying yourself. Don't be afraid to do that. So, and it makes you feel good too. It really does, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It sure does. Okay, another thing that we do is that we text each other just out of the blue. Like, I could be doing something, now suddenly my phone goes off and there's Jay sending me just, he can just send me a heart. The little kissy face emojis, just a simple I love you. My favorite is I'll send the little, it'll just say the letter I, and then heart, and then you, and then I put the little bunches of grapes, and that stands for bunches. <laughs> yeah, bunches. Because when he did the grapes, I was like, what is that? And he's I like, love you grapes. I'm like, no, that's bunches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. But it's something that just, it warms your heart, perks mm -hmm. up your day, picks you up, and you just to know that somebody is actually thinking about you mm -hmm. at that moment. There's been times where we'll go and we'll send, we will be sending each other the text or something at the same time. So mm -hmm. we know, it's so weird. And then the one will be like, I was just sending that to you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, we were thinking about each other at the same time of the day. I love that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, um... Leaving notes. You can leave little notes. You can leave notes by the coffee pot. I've left notes in the lunch. My lunch bag. <laughs> He's like, oh man. Because <laughs> the guys at work would harass him. <laughs> yeah. On the steering wheel of my car. I go out to the garage in the morning and there's a note on the steering wheel of the car. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've heard people will take lipstick and write on mirrors in the bathroom. Um, you know, little notes, you can get markers, those dry erase markers. I don't do the lipstick thing because some of that stuff can get pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to waste the money there, babe. <laughs> if it was, um, trying to think of cheap brand, I don't even know. Like what? Next? No, what? Next. Wild? Is that, is that, Nicks? no, what's yeah. that 99 cent stuff that they sell at Target? Oh man, like I know like Wet n Wild and stuff yeah. is like cheap. I'll just have to go buy some. I'll just go buy some chapstick. Use that. <laughs> <laughs> now that stuff's expensive too, especially the stuff we use. Wow, okay. <laughs> Tangent. <laughs> um, so yeah, anything like that you can do. You can do, I mean seriously, use your imagination. You can Google ideas. I've Googled ideas. There's like little sayings that come up, poems that come up. Tons of ideas online, so grab some mm -hmm. of them ideas, use them, and you know what, if it's, you know, you think, oh, that's just kind of corny, or I'm not going to do, take that idea and make it to what you and your spouse, you know, you know each other, mm -hmm. you know what you'll like, do it, <laughs> just do it. 
Do it. <laughs> Nike. I'm wearing Adidas. We can't cover it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Just holding hands. That's something that we have done our whole entire through dating, marriage. We'll be in the car, store, anything, and we just hold hands. Mm -hmm. And I, I, one thing that she does too, is I have this ring that I wear on my middle finger mm -hmm. occasionally. It's got a, it's a solid ring, but then there's a chain that goes around the inside of it. And I'll put my hand on her lap when we're driving in the car, and she'll just sit there and, and spin it. It's just something yeah. that. I just and spin that chain. If we go somewhere, she'll be like, hey, where's your ring? And I'm yeah. like, oh, I forgot it. I look for that ring, and then I'm like, yeah, he puts his hand on my leg, and just I just spin that ring. I don't know, that's something we do mm -hmm. too, yeah. But, yeah, don't be afraid to reach over and grab his or her hand. Don't be afraid. We've had couples tell us before, oh, I just don't, you know, they we don't hold hands or we don't do that. And I'm like, oh, that's sad because mm -hmm. you need contact, and you really do. You need to just hold hands, rub each other's, you know, when he's walking by, that's another thing I've written down, is just rub his back, mm -hmm. you know, if he's, <laughs> you know, rub his back, give him, you know, scratch his back, Jay's brother before I was, I didn't even think about it, we were talking to his brother and um, um, Jay's sister-in-law and stuff before, and I was just rubbing Jay's back, and he looked at his wife, his brother did, and he's like, how come you don't do that to me? <laughs> And it was like, it's such a simple gesture. Just, mm -hmm. it's so simple. There's nothing to it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Show affection. You don't have to be, you know, like in public and stuff. You don't have to be. There's, you don't have to be like all over each other. I mean, just show a little bit of affection just between the mm -hmm. two of you for that little bit of a spark. Um, you can also, there's times where you can give... Um, foot rubs, you can give back rubs. Um, there's been times where he'll be at work until, I mean, crazy, crazy hours. He comes home, he is dragging. I mean, he is sore. He's just dragging. And I'll just, before he goes to bed, as he's laying there going to bed, I will give him a back rub. And most times, he'll fall right to sleep while I'm giving him the back rub. Or I'll just take a little bit of, like, um, lotion or something, and I just give him a foot rub. Because when they're on their feet all day, when you are, you know your feet are hurting. And don't do it to expect them to do it back to you. You just do it just because you love them. Just, just no strings attached. Just do it. Just for, because you know what? I just, I love you. And this is what I'm doing to help you. And it will get, it will come back to you. It will. It does. It always does. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, anything like that. You don't have to light <clears throat> candles. You can if you want to. But, I mean, seriously, it doesn't take a lot of, like, prep work just to do something real simple. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Walking arm in arm. When you're walking through stores, parks, down the sidewalk, wrap your arms in each inside of each other. Just, just that. You don't have to hold hands. Just, you know, that touch, that squeeze. You know, lets you know, hey, I love you. I'm thinking about you. Mm -hmm. I like put my hand in the small of your back yeah. when we walk too. Yeah, rub it, rubs my back. Mm -hmm. Yep, just that little bit just knows that he's loving on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, another thing that is very important is take time, because life gets so busy, look him or her directly in the eyes. Because the eyes, they say, what did I say it was, the soul? It's uh, the like, entrance to the soul. Or yeah, something. it is. It, you see what they're thinking through their eyes. You can tell. And if you've been together for quite a while, you you know. <laughs> you just have to give a little. Most times, me and Jay are at that point where we can be in a crowd and we can give each other a little look like, you know, hey, mm -hmm. something's, you know, they're weird or something's not right. We know what it is. Jay can be across the room and he'll wink at me. He has always done that. He always finds it, finds that eye contact with me and he gives me a wink. When he does that, I know he knows where I'm at and what's going on. I have his attention. And that is just thrilling. It's just thrilling. But look them in the eye and say, I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. You can take his face in your hands, make him look at you in your eye. I love you. Because you married that person. 
you it's you two it really it's just you two against the world you know against I mean your kids are going to grow up and go off and it's always going to be you two you have to have a connection and a foundation mm -hmm. strong one not one that shifts you need a strong foundation oh this is my thing I like yes. to do on the weekends is I like to make her breakfast in, on the weekends I'll make in fact this weekend I made breakfast mm -hmm. burritos um, doesn't have to be anything spectacular you know even if it's a bagel and some cream cheese or I'll go out and grab Chick-fil-a for breakfast or whatever but that's something I do just because I know that well, all week she she's at home she's doing my laundry she's cooking my meals she's doing the dishes you know she's making sure that I have everything I need for the entire week so that I can just go to work and come home and then do whatever so on the weekends I take the time to make sure that I reciprocate some of that attention mm -hmm. to her and don't expect again don't expect it and don't expect every weekend because there's times where we are so busy mm -hmm. or so tired we would rather just be mm -hmm. so but having a breakfast cooked for you every once in a while on the weekends I look forward to that I really do it's and it's a time or just take and fill each other's coffee cup up if you see that it's getting low just fill it up mm -hmm. we do that too yeah and even sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time, I'll even do the dishes after I'm making breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I hate doing dishes. He doesn't, I don't <laughs> think you mind doing dishes, but you hate wiping off. Ah, I'd re, yeah, I'd and, rather wash and dry dishes yeah. than wipe off the counters. I I'd wipe off, I'll wipe off. I don't even worry about him wiping off because I know he just isn't going to, he hates that job with a passion. <laughs> so I figure, eh, I just... Seriously, cooking every once in a while, taking that off from your shoulders, and even if you do do the dishes, I, which he does a lot, a lot. He helps me out a lot, so, yeah. Oh, and then, so, when I know that it's going to be a busy week, um, like if we go out on a Sunday or do something, I'll make sure I fill up her car so that she doesn't have to worry about putting gas in during the week, you know. I, that's how we met at a gas station. I used to fill her car when she'd come in. <laughs> Yeah. As a customer, yeah. <laughs> so I, I just kind of continue that on, and I just make sure I keep her trying, keep her car filled, and so we she are, doesn't have to. Yes, and we're raising the boys for that. We, I'll pull into the gas station. I'll just sit there, and Justin looks at me. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Um, you're gonna fill up the car. Mommy shouldn't have to right now." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there will be days, and I do fill up the car, and I do get my own gas. We're not saying that. No. Yeah. Again, it is a sweet gesture, and it's something that we want to teach the boys. You treat her like a princess. Mm -hmm. You do. You treat her like a princess, and she will, in return, treat you like a prince or a king. Mm -hmm. It comes back at you too full. It, it really does. Okay, last one, is it? Oh, nope. Dream driving dates. Oh, okay. You do not need the money to go out on dates. You do not. When the boys were little, we would strap them in their car seats. We'd get a drink, maybe take a bag of chips with us if they got hungry. And we would all load up in the car and we'd drive. Mm -hmm. And we would drive through car lots and just dream and talk about owning a new vehicle or drive through houses that were for sale and dream about one day we would own a brand new, great, big, humongous, almost mansion. But it was uh, really bad when we'd drive through drive through restaurants and dream about getting a burger from McDonald's. No, we never did! <laughs> <laughs> no, we never did! <laughs> That's when you know you're poor. <laughs> Oh, that McDonald's smells Whoa, so good. Those fries. <laughs> if only I had 49 cents. Yeah, Back no. then, it was 49 cents. <laughs> no, we never did that. Okay, I made that up. But you don't have to do expensive dates. And when you have little kids with you, take them with you. Mm -hmm. it, you really can do something. You can go to the park. You can have a picnic. You can, you know, anything. You know, hold hands, mm -hmm. walk through the park, push them on swings. Dates don't have to just be just the two of you. Play on the teeter towers. Oh, <laughs> those can get dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we used to do a lot. Just get out of the house and just drive and dream. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And no, and then you get to know what each other's thinking and what, what you want. Like, I know what you want and your plans were in the future, and he would know what I would want and my plans were mm -hmm. in the future. And, and that's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one. Cuddle while watching a TV or a movie. Mm-hmm. We do that. There'll be sometimes that I'll just lay on the couch and put my head on her lap and 
She'll like rub my hair and yeah. play with my ears and yep. give me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> if you can give them goosebumps after 20 some years, I think you're doing uh -huh. pretty good. <laughs> yes. We can lay in bed and we have a TV on the wall here and we can lay in bed and we'll watch movies and TV and stuff there and just, mm -hmm. you know, it's just time. We will, you know, if we want to say something, we'll pause it and talk. And Yeah, we've been told, I don't know how many people have told us. You don't want a TV in your bedroom. That just it takes away from your time with each other, and it doesn't. It's actually given us more time because we will lay in bed and cuddle and watch TV. Yeah, and we don't and do we it don't often. We don't do it often. No, but no. Every but once, once in a while, we just get a really nice mm -hmm. evening where we just lay in bed. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah. So okay, those are some of the things that me and Jay come up with. So I hope this helps you in your relationship, in your marriage, and maybe you can take something you know, away from this discussion. So, all right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks, everybody, for joining.